welcome back to my channel of a limited day life of an ASB. If you're new, I'm ASB. I'm all about creating mental health and awareness and sharing my life stories with autism and mental health along with tips and advice as well as taking you on a phone and games along with taking you also on a journey what life is like for me as an autistic adult. So if you're into any of these, feel free to smash that subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and turn on the notification bell once you... So I'm pleased some people will be doing, you know, a month of vlogs of the October fest of what's going on but I decided not to because I'm not a big lover of Halloween or whatsoever so kudos to the ones that are trying to do the vlogmas of the October version I hope all will go well for you guys and that it won't tell you else and let me know guys if you have done it basically let me know in the comment section below how it went for you to start a conversation in my one today i'm going to try and introduce you to another tag because obviously as we know tags are built for getting to know every of us individually despite of what the range of topics it is or the subject matter at hand so this one's going to be the I love the spring tag because obviously here in New Zealand it's spring I thought basically to try and bring this one out before summer comes along so I might do a summer tag as well maybe later to date who knows just have to wait and see you know to that day comes so the the, the series of questions will be asked in this tag and the questions will be listed in the description box below yes so that you can actually follow along if you want to join me so the very first one is the my favorite is being now polish colors or just this favorite spring now polish in general well as you know basically I on a real occasion will wear makeup when I go out places sometimes I might wear makeup when I'm on the screen or basically just whenever I feel to beautify myself up so that question alone will be basically I'm into at the moment some of the new lighter colors of the nudes versus the pastel colors for nail polishes next one is your for number two is what's your favorite must-have lipstick color um, at the moment I've been like when I've been trying to wear it I've been basically wearing a pink but then again my one I usually use is a nude or a brown just depending obviously on what I'm wearing at the time in spring you say as well be it dresses skirts or just some formal wear just to blend in so to speak number three is your favorite dress right sorry took a while to find it <laughs> But my favourite dress at the moment, I've got two, which hopefully I'll show you again, basically. But this is one of them. This one's from Dotty, obviously, so to speak. And that will hopefully match with the two sandals I recently currently bought, which I'll show you also to match if you would like to see. First ones are these type ones. From um, and I'm going to show you both of these shoes I'm showing you tears today. The obviously suede and colours so I haven't even uh, waterproofed them yet with waterproofing spray, which I hope to do. So these are my other ones from Number and Shoes right now as well to match with both of them if need be. Right. The other one I usually tend to basically wear is a racer back kind of spring, kind of pastely orange with a floral design also that's up to my knees. So, so obviously I found what I was looking for about the dress that I told you guys about. This is the one. Ta-da! Just like As you can see, obviously, I've got ribbons attached to some zippers for some dresses and some other parts because obviously I struggle with trying to reach to the top of the neckline or whatever of the back. It's my favourite type of flower for spring. Obviously, at the moment, it's our roses and tulips. Number five is your spring favourite spring scarf or accessories. I've got a few 
that I like at the moment basically that is like lightweight. One as I said to someone, sometimes I'll wear prints. Another one I'll be usually sometimes wear is my butterfly one that my mum got me for my one of my years of my birthday as a gift or Christmas present. Number six is your favourite spring trend. Are you into or most excited for as well to speak? Be it if it's makeup, fashion, or what have you. At this point of time, basically, I just see that it's every fashion sense I've noticed recycles back over. I'm into the tunics, I'm into like tunics and leggings, um, as well as maybe a few jeggings here and there with the tunics like battling tops to match maybe hearsay. I am not so sure about basically the makeup because as I said before I humbly apologise to the ones that are into that industry but I'm not sure what's happening there sort of thing because it might subject to change. My favourite spoon candle would have to go with maybe just the floral scents and whatnot as well like basically cunning agents of lavender, chamomile and jasmine a bit of maybe a little bit of fragapani even though fragapani is a summer flower um, your favourite type of spring food? I don't have a clue because obviously I haven't made many like, recipes that are you know seasonal so you know I'm hoping to sometime do it in the near future get back into you know, progression as I said while well, I'm trying to do in my new resolution based on trying to keep fit and healthy and everything else. As your favourite perfume or body spray um, and that will vary from season to season but I am not into really strong musky kind of scents obviously as you know or should know me by now as an autistic certain scents triggers me, gives me headaches make me feel dizzy so I try to wear something light and saying this though I used to be able to handle strong musky flavours of my, you know, brands of Elizabeth Art and Rev um, Lancome and some other brand I used to wear a long time ago, hearsay, but since some of it is getting a bit strong for my liking, it's like maybe a game that will just come into play of maybe some of the flowery scents, be it rose, um, jasmine or something along those lines, but then again, I have to be careful with certain sprays and lotions that I put on my skin because I've now realised as I'm ageing, drying up my skin, so I'm basically trialling an area of everything I do right now, hearsay. Number 10 is what is spring like where you are? Well, as you know, basically, I'm in New Zealand, we have a bit of a full season of one sometimes. Some, some days at the moment it has been drizzly, some days it has been clearing up cloudy overcast days. Some days will be basically, you know, fine, but, you know, since we're nearing into summer soon, obviously, we're bound to see more, hopefully, sunshine. Even though, I hate to say it, summer is not my favourite at all sometimes due to the heat I can't contain as well as you know winter but then again there are certain things I enjoy in between you know the seasons of what they have that represents those seasons. Um, what do you like about spring? Just seeing like mother nature at its finest basically of you know be it like animals being born example wise here in New Zealand in spring you'll see plenty of lambs and calves around basically another thing about what I like about spring is just basically sometimes just smelling fresh flowers versus basically maybe some people that may decide to do some fresh baking in spring of certain things and certain stores of trail and era for them of what they're trying to bring out in bakeries cafes and everything else what do I hate about spring there's nothing much that I don't like about spring besides that some people complain about maybe having hay fevers and whatnot. So therefore basically, you know, I don't usually get hay fever but at the moment I've noticed with me, even though I'm still not fit to the core, that basically I run out of shortness of breath and everything basically but then I have to listen to my little body sometimes when it's, you know, time to try and relax. Number 13, favourite spring colour. Again, there will be pastel colours and maybe some bright colours like your yellows, um, for example, some oranges. 
bit of purples and pinks. 14 is your first memory of spring. My first memory of spring would be basically was back in the days in primary school when we used to have a subject to learn how to you know plant certain trees or fruit and vegetables and whatnot. Basically I remember growing my very first plant of the Kofi tree which is a New Zealand native here in New Zealand that attracts the toys and pantails of the New Zealand natives as well. Um, apparently also in saying this while I was in primary school and I was living in the Manawatu region basically like before my parents decided to move to live in obviously we didn't end up bringing that tree with with us to actually you know grow it still because obviously from what what I can recall before I left in that neighborhood basically it was growing quite well you say it looked like it was a young tree like sprouting like as a little team maybe I don't know I'm trying to remember all the terminology right now with the way of things so that's basically what I enjoy doing another one is basically a favorite scent of spring that goes hand in hand to what I said before basically like fresh made baked goods versus basically certain flowers that's coming into surface that are in season of spring you know that you know your tulips daffodils and whatnot number 16 I need a spring cleaner once upon a time I'll be honest and frank as I said in one of my videos I was a perfectionist I was always going stir crazy of having to have everything perfect and everything else so therefore um I've decided to let that go right now of perfection of some business, you know, trying to not to be so OCD about every damn thing that comes your way, be it, you know, law and order versus basically cleanliness. Because now at the moment, obviously, my room, I love it, at the moment is a bit of chaos, messy chaos, or some other terminology I hear that for some people with ADHD. Let me know any ADHDers that are watching me today maybe to let me know of the actual right term. Organised chaos maybe is the right word. Knowing where everything is. You know. My favourite spring fashion. If I'm into fashion, yes I was once upon a time, a long 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 time ago. Basically, um, my favourite spring fashion again will go with hand in hand to what I said before about if there's any styles and trends would be based on my tunics, back wing top with jeggings and white, white leggings. Sometimes I'll mind go about wearing a blouse with my skirt or some sort of dressy top to go with my skirt if I am in the mood to wear a skirt. Sometimes I'll wear long white. Another one is for a fashion some of a fashion trend for me I believe is also a saying that is sometimes lightweight dresses basically as well as in saying that also I try to before summer just to let you guys know go into my um, jumpsuit stage I got introduced jumpsuits a long time ago but you know since now I'm trying to get back into that and the last question is is there any planned vacations on the horizon for you in spring and if so what are they um at this point in time even though we're coming into summer the more likely be more summer plans heading my way based on as i said in one of my videos on my social media especially on twitter if you followed me that at this point in time i'm likely to take a long well there's a break sometime in december to january the first or second week but as i said don't flow over for it there should be at least two or three more videos coming up either this month or next month or following but as I said I will we'll definitely keep you posted so in all further ado guys thanks for support thanks for watching hope you like this hopefully you got to know me a bit more I'm not for the do guys thanks for support thanks for watching do you all love love you do smash the like you know the drill comment below also if you feel to answer some of these questions about your faves of what I've shared be it your favorite colors versus everything else that represents spring and all further ado guys I'll see you again soon. Ciao for now.